एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स व्हिच अफेक्ट द शेड्यूल्ड स्पीड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी मीन बाय शेड्यूल्ड स्पीड the ratio of distance between the two stops and the total time of run including stoppage is known scheduled speed it is denoted by v as suffix s we use for scheduled speed and it is measured in kilometer per hour so it is a ratio of total distance between two stops and we consider total time that is total time of run as well as total time for the stoppage mathematically it can be written as a ratio that is distance between stops and divided by actual time of run plus stoppage time and then it gives us scheduled speed now let us discuss certain factors which affect the scheduled speed the first that is maximum speed second distance traveled by the train acceleration of the train and retardation of the train and last one that is stoppage time of the train now our purpose is to increase the scheduled speed and we have to discuss or we have to modify if required certain parameters or certain factors to improve or to increase the scheduled speed now let us discuss all the factors one by one we start with the maximum speed maximum speed that is denoted by vm suffix m we use for maximum speed and it is measured in kilometer per hour for given distance of travel and acceleration and retardation rate we are not changing acceleration and retardation rate as well as the distance of travel that is distance between two stops remain fixed actual time of travel decrease if maximum speed increase now we know that uh, scheduled speed is inversely proportional to the actual time of run so if we increase the maximum speed then actual time of travel between two stops decrease and hence scheduled speed increase so as high as possible maximum speed should be attained by the train second parameter that is distance traveled and it is denoted by d in the scheduled speed we have a ratio and distance divided by time that is our scheduled speed and we include time for stoppage also so scheduled speed is directly proportional to the distance to be traveled by the train or the distance between two stops for given time of reach more distance to be traveled more scheduled speed is required as we know the mathematical equation and we know that the scheduled speed is directly proportional to the distance to be traveled so if distance increase then we require higher scheduled speed if time of reach is maintained constant third parameter that is acceleration 
of the train we denote by alpha and we measure acceleration rate in kilometer per hour per second for given maximum speed now maximum speed is maintained constant and run of the train so again distance is also maintained constant for given maximum speed and for given run of the train actual time of travel decrease if rate of acceleration is increased so simply if rate of acceleration increase the train require a less time to reach to maximum speed and hence actual time of travel decrease now we know that the scheduled speed is inversely proportional to the actual time of travel so if uh, actual time of travel decrease then scheduled speed is increasing so with the rate of acceleration increment scheduled speed also increase same way braking retardation and it is denoted by beta it is measured in kilometer per hour per second the effect of braking retardation is exactly similar as acceleration again for given maximum speed and the run of the train so speed and distance we have maintained constant actual time of travel decrease if rate of retardation increase so from the free running to zero speed it depends on the rate of retardation so if we increase the rate of retardation and if we maintain maximum speed and distance constant actual time of travel decrease and we know that scheduled speed is inversely proportional to the actual time of travel so scheduled speed increase with the increase in the rate of retardation in case of a suburban and urban service rate of acceleration and rate of retardation matters a lot and the last factor that is stoppage time of the train it is denoted by small t and suffix s we use s for stoppage and to mention the time we use small t it is measured in second for given average speed meaning is average speed is maintained constant stoppage time decrease then automatically scheduled speed increase we consider total time of run as well as time required for the stoppage and stoppage time is inversely proportional to the scheduled speed so if we decrease stoppage time keeping all the other parameters constant scheduled speed will increase so this way we have discussed different factors which affect the scheduled speed thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much